My first tip, the most important one in my opinion, is not even about crocheting. This one is highly important. This one you might have to write down. Hi everyone, I'm Gabrielle. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today's video is my top 10 tips for beginner crocheters. These are things I wish I would have known as a beginner. I have a crochet business now. Here are some things I've made. So I'm definitely qualified to be giving this advice. I've been crocheting for two years. And yeah, let's get into it. My first tip, the most important one in my opinion, is not even about crocheting. This tip is about setting a goal for yourself. So find something that you really wanna make. Is it a sweater? Is it a bucket hat? Do you wanna make this? wavy pattern bag. What do you really want to make? Why are you starting to learn how to crochet? This will help you work through any frustrations and prevent you from quitting. I know a lot of times when we're first starting a hobby or we're starting something new, it is difficult. You know, you've never done it before and you're back in that beginner <laughs> mindset. Like, how do I do any of this? This is all new to me. I don't know how to hold this thing. Like, so have something that you really want to make because then when you're working on your stitches and you come across like, I don't want to do this anymore, you're like, oh, but I really want to make this. So I'm going to keep working on it. My second tip is about crocheting. So this one's about practice, practice, practice. The more stitches that you make, the better your stitches are, the more familiar you become with how to hold, how your wrist moves, and how to keep the tension in the yarn. Specifically though, I recommend for beginners to make squares. So I recommend a chain, then make your first row of stitches, make a second row of stitches, make a third row of stitches, just until it's a square. Just make different squares. That's how I practice getting the different stitches down. I'll have a video up on my channel if you're interested, which goes over how to make a square of single crochet stitches. And I'll also have videos going over how to do all of the basic stitches, such as single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, slip stitch. Yeah. So go check out that video and make different squares of each of the stitches. Learn which stitches are what. Okay, my third tip is don't even bother reading patterns. Okay, if you don't know what a pattern is, it's like the instructions for how to make something. It'll be like, row one, do this, row two, do that. I've never read a pattern in all of my crochet history. I just watch YouTube videos and I watch the tutorials that tell you exactly what to do and they show what they're doing. I found that really helpful when I was first starting. Now, after two years, I'm kind of able to use a tutorial kind of as like inspiration, I'd say, and then I can kind of freestyle, change things up, change the sides of things or whatever. But yeah, as you're first starting, just watch YouTube tutorials. And if they go over something, like they say, do a row of half double crochet, and they don't go over what a half double crochet is, and you forgot what a half double crochet is, slow the video down and just watch what they're doing. Oh, first they're wrapping their hook around the yarn, then they're going in the stitch, then they're grabbing more yarn, then they're coming out of the stitch. Slow it down, copy exactly what they're doing. Take your time, pause the videos, okay? That was kind of my next tip as well, combined. Tip five, once your stitches are consistent, you've got the kind of motion down, you know how to hold the tension in the yarn, go start on your goal, go search up a tutorial. How do I make this bag? Just go start on it, and if it's not perfect, make another one. Undo it, you know? Just go start on the goal, make what you came here to make, and then start on something else. What else do you wanna make? Crochet things that you wanna make, that's the whole point. <laughs> okay, in video tutorials, sometimes they'll be like, now use a stitch marker and then start on the next row. Stitch markers are used to mark like where the end of a row was. I use these all the time for bucket hats, but my tip here is don't go and buy a stitch marker if you don't have one. It's unnecessary. I have never used an actual like stitch marker. I just use a safety pin. You can use an earring. You can get creative with this. Just stick something in the stitch so you remember which stitch is. You can even pull out some of the, the yarn, but I don't like doing that. I've never done it. I've just seen someone else do that, so technically you don't need anything. Tip number seven. This one is highly important. When you're first starting out, please use light colored yarn. If you use black or something really, really dark, you're not going to be able to like see your stitches. And if you can, it's going to be a lot more confusing. And as a beginner, one of the things that you're learning is how to count stitches, how to identify stitches. Even with light colored yarn, it can still be difficult. Please stay away from dark colored yarn and this will add unnecessary stress. Tip number eight. When someone in a YouTube video says to do a magic circle, this one you might have to write down because it's important. You don't actually have to do a magic circle. 
You can just chain four, slip stitch into the first stitch, and then use that. Will work just the same. <laughs> so tip number nine, we all love fluffy yarn. Go buy some, sure, but don't crochet with it. Just use it as motivation to keep practicing and get better until you have a few projects like under your being and you feel comfortable crocheting and like, you know, until you're like fluent in crocheting, don't use fluffy yarn. Learning how to crochet with fluffy yarn is a whole new learning process. So until you have normal crocheting down, I don't recommend crocheting with fluffy yarn because the stitches are different. The hook size is a lot different. It's a lot bigger because fluffy yarn is big. But yeah, after you have a few projects done, go ahead and try it out. You can definitely make a lot of fun things with fluffy yarn, fluffy stuffed animals, fluffy sweaters. It's definitely something I would recommend just not to beginners. Okay, my last tip is about weaving in the ends because I weaved in the ends wrong for an entire year, which is kind of embarrassing. Even my first YouTube video, I was weaving the ends wrong. So what I would do is I would go over, under, over, under all of the stitches and that would mean it was a lot easier for the yarn to just like come out. But you really do need to do is go through the stitches through the middle of the stitches because that way they are inside the project it kind of seems obvious but just in case anyone else is out there like doing what i was doing it's fine if you do anything wrong as a beginner like i was doing stuff wrong it's fine yes thank you for watching i have multiple other crochet videos i have like entertainment ones where i'm making things i have my business crochet videos and i also have different beginner tutorials so so go check out whatever videos you want let me know what videos you want to see and yeah, i'll see you in the next one bye